Hello viewers, be with me till the end of the lecture as I'm going to tell you a very important point concerning the numerical scheme under the Caputo Fabrizio fractional differential operator that uses exponential type of kernel. Before you watch this lecture, I would recommend that you must watch the first two parts of this lecture number nine. This is the research paper we have been discussing. In this research paper today, I will let you know that how we can design a MATLAB code for a numerical scheme that has been proposed in this paper with the Caputo Fabrizio fractional differential operator that was using a variable order. So before I start the MATLAB code, let me show you the numerical scheme in this research paper. So under Caputo Fabrizio fractional differential operator, the scheme is now in front of you. Let me maximize it so that you can see easily. So you can see now on the screen, the first equation for x sub n plus one constitutes the first equation of the numerical scheme. This numerical scheme is denoted by equation 4.19 in this research paper. And it is designed for the simulation of financial system given in this research paper by equations 4.1. So you can see that the first equation of this numerical scheme actually shows the first equation in the governing system, I mean the financial system of this research paper. So if you understand how to design the code for this first equation, you will understand for the rest of two equations as well. So let's go to the MATLAB code. And now, as usual, you can see that line number 19, if I start from here, you can see some required inputs like a step size, initial value of the T, final mesh point, I have taken considerably large one, as you can see it's thousand, integration interval T and number of iterations denoted by capital N. Line number 11, initial conditions for the system, and then arbitrarily chosen fractional order, constant fractional order as 0 0.976. The parameters of the model are given in the research paper, and then these are the three governing equation I was talking about. They represent the financial system given in the paper by equations 3.1a, b, and c respectively. So since we are going to start the numerical algorithm for the Caputo Fabrizio operator, going back to the going back to the research paper, you can see that in this algorithm, one needs to have Two conditions to start the algorithm as it is clear from this part f1 of t sub n and similarly rest of the dependent variables and now once again you can see in this scheme f1 t sub n minus 1 so you should have two conditions to start the Caputo Fabrizio algorithm that is why one was given in the system one was given in uh, the research paper along with the financial system this one which i have highlighted on line number 11 the other one i have computed using the fractional forward Euler's method to understand this i would suggest you that you should watch one of my previous lectures that i have made on the numerical scheme for fractional forward Euler's method under caputo fractional differential operator you can also follow the cfc or abc here you will have to follow the cfc one so now after this you will have to come to the constant version of the caputo fabrizio algorithm and now the main loop starts in this loop i want you to focus on line number 32 and 33 the highlighted lines and compare these lines with the first equation over here in the research paper so you can see that if you compare it 
if you compare these this equation with the code i have actually designed here you can see side by side and keep comparing the terms you will not have any difficulty to know that how i have typed these letters over here so you will find the same in the research paper and the code the same letters instead of alpha of t i have mentioned here only alpha as i told you that in the first part of this code i am supposing alpha as a constant number so now coming back to the code you saw the code for the first state variable now you will repeat it for the second state variable considering now instead of f1 you will choose f2 and instead of x of n you will use y of n rest of the things are same and likewise the third dependent variable and that's it the loop ends and you will get the figure wherein i have tried to get the surface plot now in order to get the variable version of this algorithm the super simple steps have to be followed you will copy these three lines and then paste them over here in the variable version as i have done so simply you have to take and paste over here with the change that now i'm going to tell you the change will be at the places where alpha is written you will simply replace alpha by alpha of t of n something that i have now highlighted nothing else you need to do just you have to replace it so that you can show that now alpha is no more a constant but it is a function which I have defined on line number 50. Alpha no more a constant. It's a function 1 upon 1 plus e power minus t. And then at the end you have to see the figure, the surface for this variable version of the Caputo Fabrizio algorithm. So let's run the program now. And Note that I have taken the interval 0 to 1000. After I run the program, I will have these two pictures side by side, the figure 1 for constant fraction order and figure 2 for the variable fractional order. Now, the important point that I would like to highlight here that I said at the start of the lecture is that you noticed how quickly we got these figures and another thing that i want you to notice that in the algorithm of the caputo fabrizio we do not have any summation sign you can notice from the from the numerical algorithm as well and this is the reason why we are getting the figures so quickly i hope you have enjoyed the lecture and now i would like to request you to like share and to subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching the lecture